Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, if you would, please stand, everybody. We want to honor this great man of God. Great, great man of God. A great example to the house. A true father in Zion. Praying man. Loves God, loves his people. Concerned. Concerned about God's people. And just a gentle, just a gentle man. So we're going to honor associate pastor, father, dad, Brian. <laughs> pastor, dad, Brian. Amen. Preach the word, dad. Amen. Tell us. They know we're together when yeah. we go. <laughs> the grocery store, wherever, the doctor's office, wherever, if they don't see one another, where well, he at, where well, she at. Yeah. Come on, that's real. So, well, some problems that you have to take care of. Oh, okay, just want to know. Y'all ain't broke up. <laughs> separated or something happened. No, it wasn't like that happened. We're too old to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> 80 years old, man. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> Amen. I ain't got no time for no foolishness. No, I got to be dedicated walking with God and expression now. I'm too old for foolishness. All right, Dad. Isn't that right? I'm too old for foolishness. And you too young for foolishness. All right, now. Come on, now. <laughs> It's time to be right with God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We look at the times is in the sign now. 
Look at the news. You want to throw your television out the window because it's so bad. Bad news anymore. You don't get no good news anymore. Nothing good. I looked at the brochure, and by the way, I was blessed again on last week. I, my wife looked through the a purse. She carried got a lot of different purses. <laughs> Amen. You know what she do when she come in here. And she looked through the purse and got an envelope. She said, "Look at that. This is yours." <laughs> Uh -uh. Eighty dollars. See, they gave me most, most everybody in the, the Golden Corral on my birthday wow. before the day wow. celebration. Mm -hmm. Before the day mm -hmm. occurred, they had a get together for me. Mm -hmm. All the relatives got together, and he's eighty. We gonna give him eighty dollars, mm -hmm. but plus some gave more. But it was a living that looked like that everybody was eight. Mm. And I was blessed over the young man. And she looked in the purse on last week. And she said, this is for you. I said, what is it? I looked. Hey, Lord. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you. Amen. I said, hey, they're still yet smiling on me. Still yet blessing me. And that been a month or so ago. <laughs> uh, maybe two hours. Do the man's age in August 20th, kept second up, up until last week. Two months. And it was still yet in her purse. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that, means it, that means she carried a lot of different persons. Right there, I'll tell you, right there. Okay. She, she left some stuff in there. Didn't have to pull it all out and put it in there, pull all that out, put it in there. It got what she needed out there and put it in another person. Well, praise God in the house. Hallelujah. Amen. We're glad to be here today. We are, like we said, we miss her. Yes. Amen. Amen. And we have to come behind Brother Shambaugh. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to be careful when we try to preach. <laughs> we got to kind of be looking closely. Well, glory to God. I believe God gave me a word for you. Mm. And, and on last week, He gave me a word. The word was expectation. Mm. Expecting. Huh? Expecting. My God. So I'm expecting God to do something. Amen. Amen. If you got a problem, take it to God. You expect Him to do something about your situation. Because you brought it to Him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you bring something to some individual, if I bring something to Brother Bobby, I wouldn't bring it to him and then think he was capable of helping me with it. Right, right, amen. You wouldn't bring something up to me and then don't expect me to be able to do something about it. Right. Hallelujah. And if I can testify right here, before we get down into the Word, my scripture will be coming from several different chapters. The, one, the first one will begin in the book of Acts. But I want to testify here, uh, when we first came into this ministry, me and my wife, we was over on, on, uh, on Harvard. That's where his church was located, on the harbor. Mm -hmm. We got introduced to Mother, personal. I had been listening to her for years. But that's why we got really introduced to her. <coughs> we began to come into Sunday school, 9 o'clock in the morning, until whatever time they let out. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. That's laughable, but... It was a long journey. <laughs> Amen. What they call the marathon. 
That's why we were there, Brother Bobby, until 3 o'clock. And Mother was still in. We still in Sunday school. And I would look at my watch and I elbow my wife. I look at my watch and I elbow my wife. She gonna let out after what? Four o'clock on Sunday. We will still stand up there. I'm talking about night. She was teaching seriously at like, well, nine. That when Brother Timothy Brother wasn't there. He was a Sunday school teacher. And he wasn't there. And Mother stepped in. That before she turned me loose. She turned me loose on Utica and pointed me out to the you be the Sunday school teacher mm. after we moved from Harvard mm. to Utica. You remember that, don't you, sister? You were there. I remember you there. And sister Ori. But anyhow, I want to get to my my uh, testimony. When mother, after she teach Sunday school all day long, she would call her prayer meeting. And everybody got around the altar. She was standing in the middle of that, oh, in the middle of that altar, and people would gather around her, to begin to lay hands on her. She first said, "I want to agree with everybody. I want to come up here and I agree with you." And mother would lay hands on them and pray for them. And I was sitting on the front pew, me and my wife, just sitting there. And she did this to me. And, and, and she, I looked up at she said, she had prayed for a young man. Pointed at me. I got up and went over there and, and grabbed him, you know, and walking your brother on. I grabbed his hand and I began to pray with him. And he began to give me some serious bad looks. <laughs> Am I? He began to look at me, some serious bad looks at me. And I began to look at him, I, I, I done that to him. Amen, I did that to him. I was praying with him, and, and he began to look up at me like that, and, and the eyes began to roll in his head, and it looked like he was just going to cut my throat. I didn't behave the way And Mother looked over them glasses, <laughs> I was saying to myself, my mother, don't you see that man don't want me to pray for him? See, stop praying for that one that she was praying for. That grabbed him and broke him and took that right hand and pulled me out. Wow. And I went on back. Obedience. Obedience. I was just being obedient to mother because she was a yeah. pastor and had age on me. Yeah. My parents always taught me to obey them that, yeah. that's older than yeah. you, no matter if they're your kinfolk or not. Mm. Come on, I obeyed her, got up and went on back to that young man. Right. I went on back to him, Brother Bobby, and, and I grabbed his hand again and I began to look him dead in the eye and I began oh, right. to... Get serious with God about him. Mm -hmm. That's right. And something come out of my mouth and he fell. Wow. My God. Mother was expecting something to happen. Oh, right now. Mm -hmm. That's why she pointed me to go to him. Yeah. My God. Yes. Amen. I didn't know the man that didn't know what problems he had. Mm -hmm. Or what he was going through with. But the look he gave me made me want to leave him mm -hmm. alone. Sometimes the devil give you a look that make you want to leave him alone. That's but weird. God want to use whom he ever want to use. Yes! Hallelujah. I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting that to happen. But mother pointed me, done that number to me. And I said, I got to be obedient to mm. doing Going back over there, whether he jump on me or not. <laughs> Amen. I have to be obedient, and I got to talking in the spirit to him. I don't know 
what I said to him in the Holy Ghost, yeah. but he failed. Mm. And, and, and after the service, mother came to me. Don't never. She did, brought about, she was talking to me. Don't never let the devil tell you what to do. Oh. So I want mother. See, you see what happened to the young man? Mm -hmm. He got delivered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you weren't expecting him to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Wow. Right, Let's go to the book of Saint, I mean uh, Book of Acts right now. Quickly. Book of Acts, the third chapter. I had to share that with you. Mm -hmm. Because I want you to be expecting something when you come into the house of God. Amen. Yes. This is no movie. You don't come into the house of God just to sit up and occupy the pew. You don't take your car down to the garage if you don't need some work done on it. And you also don't take it to the hamburger place to get it fixed. Huh? Amen. You take it to the garage place. That's right. Right place. Some folk go to the hamburger place looking to meet Jesus. It's full right now. Especially the one over in Kuwait, the people look like they shop over there in that McDonald's. Go over there, car lot full. Sitting up there now talking crazy. I went inside one. One Saturday morning, Bobby, the hamburger place, because I wanted a sausage biscuit after we left here from prayer meeting. And they said, I've been there talking crazy. I said, my God, how come they, uh, and I'm thinking, how come they ain't at home? Uh, somewhere instead of this McDonald's talking crazy like that, Go in there, I'll be, 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 i I was expecting going to get a hamburger, come on, I mean, a um, something come on out. But they got to tell them crazy. Uh, you can't get to the cash register. They all they want you want. Oh, man, it's dead long. <laughs> and uh, they got to tap him on the shoulder. I got to get up him. <laughs> See, the world is in a fix. <laughs> I said the world is in a fix. Go to different places expecting something on, instead yeah. of going to the right place. Yeah. We need to go to the right yeah. place for the right thing. Yeah. Amen. In the book of Acts, the third chapter reads as thus. Now Peter and John went together unto the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, they lay daily at the gates of the temple, which is called Beautiful, yes. to ask alms of them entered into the temple, yes. whom sin Peter and John, about to go into the temple, as arms. And Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John said, Look on us. And he gave heed to them expecting to receive something. I got a need. And you know this is my living. I'm out here for a certain purpose. You know, in other words, he knows that, that 
He was expecting Peter and them to bring out some coins, yeah. Yeah. some money. Mm -hmm. But it was something that he was expecting to receive. Come on. Yeah. Otherwise, he just didn't go to church, that's the trip down and occupy the pew. Mm. Woo, chief, I have a runaway with this. I come in here, brother, then just to see what you wearing on Sunday morning. I didn't come in here for nothing from God. All right. I got everything I need. Mm. I got a nice car, <laughs> fine house. I don't need to go way over there and pull you. That's the setup in that church, raining in them. <laughs> Why are you coming over there? <laughs> Why am I going that far? I had a man to tell me, man, do you know how much gas costs? I've been driving every day. <laughs> I got three vehicles. And then you going to ask me how much gas costs? I got one. Burn the high price gas you can buy. Then I got one. Burn the medium grade. Then I got one. Burn E85. Now you going to ask me how much gas costs. I had to have a sermon with him. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you see, that was the enemy spirit. Enemy spirit go question me. I'm older than he is. Got more cars than he has. Live further than he do. And go ask me, do you know? <laughs> That's a crazy question. <laughs> I was I was that was a stupid question. <laughs> and if I was in the world, that's a fighting question. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. But that was, I mean, I said, yes, sir, I do know. But and the preacher, you know. But why? I said, because God said so. That's why. If we had had that lesson before then, like we had this morning, I'd have told him, because it's bad for you to put your finger on God's sermon. Yes. But I didn't, we hadn't had that lesson yet. <laughs> At least I hadn't been, I wasn't in this Sun school when they did have it. <laughs> but see, that was a lesson for the church. Yes. Don't you put your mouth on God, sir. That's right. We come out like Marilyn. Mm. Hallelujah. Jesus. But anyhow, back to the book of Acts. On, As they look at Peter and John. Amen. He fastened his eyes. He, otherwise he put his undivided attention on them. Mm -hmm. That's right. He focused on them like we as a whole ought to focus on him Amen. instead of them. But as a whole we focus on Hallelujah. them instead of him. And we put our undivided attention on him Instead of them, it'd be a better world today. Yeah. Right. Because we ain't got no time for no foolishness. Ain't got no time to get into your business. Hallelujah. This young man. Hallelujah. I believe he was lame from his mother's womb. I believe he was and never walked before. Only support, only way he survived was by people giving him a hand out. Mm. But Peter and John, when they said, look on us, mm -hmm. silver and oh, gold yeah. have we none, but such yes. as I have, yes. Yes. give I unto thee. Yes. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Get up. The Bible says, be wrecked down and picked him up. Yeah, and he rose to his feet mm -hmm. and his ankle bone received strength. Oh. He rose and he leaped. And the Bible said he walked yes, on yes, into the yes, temple yes, yes, with Peter and John. Stand up, Brother Bobby, yes, if you will. Yes, I believe the yes, man was walking in between yes, Peter and John like yes, this. The Bible yes, said he was walking yes, and he was leaving yes, and he was praising yes, God. Yes, Why? Yes, because God done done something yes, for me. God done met my needs. Yes, I couldn't walk. I had to Somebody had to bring me in here. But now I can walk out of here. I'm praising and walking and praising. The Bible says walking and leaving and praising. God went on to the temple. He didn't go back to McDonald's. Hallelujah. He went on in to the place where he was sitting outside of the temple. He went inside now. God done done something for me. He done brought me in. He done saved my soul. Now I'm going into his house. Walking and living and praising God. Hallelujah. Sometimes when God does something for us, the preacher has to ask us, did God do anything for you? Sometimes when I'm watching television, brother Bobby, see the healing line. I like to watch it when the healing line come on. Amen. When they go to praying for folk. And I see them, they, they get up out of the wheelchair. They lift them up and pray over them. And sometimes they just take a hold to the wheelchair and they walk themselves back to the seat. Yeah. And the preacher man have to come out there and get him and say, why don't you testify? Mm -hmm. I said to myself sometimes when I see that, I said, they would have to ask me. <laughs> They'd have to restrain yeah. me if God done deliver me from a wheelchair. And then the preacher got to come down here and ask me, did God do anything for you? Hallelujah. I said, they have to shut my mouth. I've been confined to a wheelchair for 30 years. And here come God delivered me out of it. And I push it on back and just sit down like he ain't done nothing. Don't even give him a high praise or, or nothing. Just sit down, look up into the ceiling like God ain't in this place. No one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you, saints, when you come into the house of God, expect something from God. If you ain't expecting nothing from God, then you ain't going to leave with nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Folks will ask you a question. Did have a service today? Some, sometimes they ask me, brother, about have a service. I said, I'm going back next Sunday. Yes. <laughs> if it was bad, if it was bad, I ain't going to say, I'm going back next Sunday. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, keep on going if you ain't getting nothing from it. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. The man was expecting something from God's man. Yes. Not only then, brothers and sisters, they expecting something from God's people today. Yes. The Bible teaches us that we are the light of the world. That's right. And people out there in the dark mm -hmm. expect enough to shine yeah. when we come around. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. They expect enough to be dark like this. Yeah. We are the lights of the world. Yeah. Yeah. My God, we have to be different from the world yeah. in order to help the world. Yeah. Can't help like the world in order to leave the world out of sin. All right. We got to be different. 
and somebody out there expecting to see that from us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Some folks go home on a Sunday afternoon and the life be so messed up until the folk in the neighborhood talk about it. Mm. Hallelujah. And that's bad. Yes. You just got out of church in the neighborhood looking at over there running you down. <laughs> oh yes, that's happening. Why don't they need to they stay on that home? They ain't getting nothing. Look at them. I'm living better than they are. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Well, I said the same thing. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, I can preach about myself. Uh -oh. I said the same thing years oh, ago. Yes. My God, I see some people, people coming out of church and they get home and they, and they go around and these people... They had the nerve. I said they had the nerve. If you read the Sunday school book this morning, you see how Peter, I mean not not Peter, but uh, Mary and Aaron put their mouth on God and said, can God use us? God can use us. The prophet, I'm a, otherwise I'm a prophet and you the priest. And God can do nothing like he used him. And he done married the Ethiopian woman. And he, look at it. He done messed up himself. Didn't matter no he the like. Uh-huh. <laughs> Putting them out on God's man. Right. As I was thinking the same, I was saying the same thing. Go to church on Sunday. Go back and people, I, I mean, people were going to church. And I was at home. Mm. Look at them. Why are they going to church? They ain't doing nothing with what they're supposed to be getting out of church. I be watching them. Because mm. some of them what? Mm. But some of them I was putting my mouth out there before I really knew what they were doing. Well, my God. Mm -hmm. But God had to deliver me. Yes. And set me free. Mm. Close my eyes to a lot of things. Shut my mouth to things I shouldn't have been talking. Woo. Sometimes we need to have God shut my eyes. Mind you, that old cartoon story, Lord and Hard. The skinny one used to say, Well, hush my mouth. Huh? You remember that old? Yeah. That old Comical movie. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we need to ask the Lord, hush my mouth, yeah. shut my mouth, yeah. because I'm talking things that I really don't know. Yeah. Mm. That's right. I'm saying that I really don't be the judge down here. Mm -hmm. You told me to judge you not. Mm -hmm. No, I'm judging right now. Mm -hmm. Don't be ashamed to ask God, help me. We got a lot of teaching out of this minister. So help me, Jesus. Help me. Yeah. I used to hear that every Sunday. Mm. Help me. Yeah. I saw that it didn't need no help. Mm. But when I got really serious, I looked at my life. Lord, I need yes, help. We do. Yes, we do. I need help. Yes, we do. But look back with me again Amen. at the book of Acts. On, when Peter, we're looking at the Sick grace. It said, Peter, Peter, then, then, Peter, then said Peter, silver and gold, I have none, but such as I have, give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. I imagine the man thought he needed more than that. Mm -hmm. That's good. But he expected something mm -hmm. from them. He didn't just sit up at the altar. See, a lot of people come up here to get prayed for and don't expect to get nothing. Mm -hmm. They just come out of obedience sometimes to the altar. Prayer line, come on up. Prayer line open, come on up. 
A lot of people come up in there, stand there. What you want from God? How come you? I'm talking this because I have some time. Mm -hmm. If you don't want nothing from God, you really ain't going to get nothing from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Know why you're wearing the preacher out? <laughs> Boy, yes. Praying for somebody is, is not just, oh, thank you, Jesus, and you're gone. That takes a lot of energy out of person to pray for somebody. Yes. Especially when you're serious. Mm -hmm. That's why I beg God for that young man on the heart. And mother said, Mm -hmm. I said, I got to be obedient. Wow. I got to be obedient. I just hid up out of my seat and went on back over there and grabbed the man by his hand. Come on. Mm -hmm. Now, mother was the one in the expectation. Yes. Yes. The man was not Woo. in the expectation. Wow. Mm -hmm. She was expecting something to come to me. Woo. Glory. To the man. My God. That's why she didn't let me up. My mind is already, hey, this man might get up here and, and go upside my head. Because that look in his eyes and the way he frowned up at me, it looked me dead in the eyes. And, and he had a look that I turned him loose. I don't want to fight nobody, especially in the house of God. Yes. Huh? Maybe you ain't never had that to come to you. Uh -huh. Never had that contact with an individual. Uh -huh. I don't know, but this just didn't, wasn't, just, wasn't an ordinary. Yes. It was a, 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 a looked like this ain't right. Uh -huh. Mother had enough, looked over them glasses and wow. pointed me back to that man. Mm -hmm. And I went to the man yeah. with all I knew of God, what he could do. Glory. And call it out of my spirit. And that man hit the floor. Woo. And I don't know him from nobody, but oh, he hit the God. floor and was delivered yes. on what he Way. had. Woo. Why? Because mother had some infection on me yes. to do it. Woo. And then you, yeah, I know y'all heard her speaking a lot of time about inner circle. She said, I won't have an inner circle. And she put it, me and my wife, she said, every time I get up to pray, I want you and you up here with me. Mm. That's what she put us, she appointed us to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. After that man was delivered, she said, I seen that in you, Brother Brent. That's wow. where she used to talk to me, Brother Brent. <laughs> I said, Mother, I, I said, you didn't see. She said, don't worry about how the devil looks. Hey! She said, Jesus is bigger and greater than the devil. Don't you know? Don't you tell me, don't you worry about how that devil looks? That's right. Man. Glory. Glory. When, when you pray for somebody, if you got to shut your eyes and pray, yeah. don't worry about him looking at you. Oh, it's good stuff. Well, glory to God. Oh, yeah. Let's go back to the book of Acts. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, 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 and he took him by the right hand yeah. and lift him up. Yeah. And immediately. And that don't mean that he waited and got home, brother Bob. Bible said immediately after Peter then lift him up to his feet. After meeting his ankle bone, receives strength. Hey, hallelujah. hallelujah. Jesus. Otherwise, when Peter, I mean, when, when Peter and John lift him up, the person left Peter and John into the man and met what he needed the most. Hallelujah. So 
Sometimes we think we need a better place to stay at, a better automobile to drive, or some different type of food. And all we need is Hallelujah. more Jesus. And Lord. if we get more Jesus, Jesus will make a way for you. He'll give you all your needs to be met. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you get closer to Jesus, you can hear him more clearly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I was sharing a part of my vision that I had. I told some of you about it a long time ago. How that I was in a dream and dreaming about going to heaven. Dreaming about preachers and preaching the gospel. Dreaming about understanding more of God's word. And all of a sudden we was in this dream and I was on the water. Hallelujah. On a jet ski. Thank you, sister. Glory to God. And ride this jet ski. I don't know how. It looked like a, it's just like a bus and had a whole lot of folk on it. My God today. It looked like the closer and the further we get out into this body of water. And I don't know, and don't ask me what portion and what body of water you was on. All I know, I can see water every which way I look. But God was blessing me. Look like the closer we get further out in there, I can hear the voice of Jesus talking. Clear and clear. And the jet ski left the water. Hallelujah. And begin to go up into the heavenly bound. Glory to God. I knew that because I could look down at the water. Glory to God. And people begin to fall off the jet ski. Wow. Hallelujah. And I begin to wonder why ain't they got a good enough grip on what they're holding on. Mm -hmm. I had a, a grip on it, just like they said, put an iron lock on it. I had a grip on it because I didn't want to fall off. Uh -huh. God revealed that to me later on. That you would want to really be serious with me and my word. Wow. That's why you don't let people talk you out of my word. Yes. That's why you don't let people detour you. Right. And we can't let people detour you. Amen. If you know the word of God, journey come late, can't tell you no different. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Stay with what you know. Yeah. Deliver you. Stay with the word of God. Hallelujah. If this book had delivered me from alcohol, cigarettes, or whatever, I'm going to stay with it. Oh, yes. I ain't going to let That's nobody right. come That's along right. and detour me. You know why? In the meanwhile, as we were traveling on this jet ski, we done left the water now, and we up in the heaven, and we were flying just like a, on a jet plane. And the closer. Looked like we was going over mountains. I could see mountains coming up as we were traveling in there. And we went over some mountains and people began to still fall down. And I don't know how many was on the ski. I don't know how big the ski was. But people began to fall all around. Have you seen church folk in the church for a long time? And after a while they getting a backslide. And you begin to wonder why. Yeah, yeah. What happened to them? The people unfair from grace and gone away from God yeah. by listening to the wrong information. Yeah. Come on. Glory to God. Yeah. And the closer and the closer as we got, I could look over that mountain. I could see way down there. Mm. It was Jesus. Yeah. I could see a big crowd all around him. Woo. And he was preaching the gospel. He was teaching to the multitude. And people began to fall off just before they get there. I said, why can't they hold on? They can see him right now. Look like they ought to be able to reach the destination. Some folk will get almost into the heavenly ground and then fall off 
back to listen to the wrong information. Yeah. Right. Glory to God. We got to keep our eyes on Jesus. Yeah. And not on the world. Yeah. He told me later on that while people were falling all around me, you still were looking at me. You still will listen to me. You didn't fall with the crowd. Good. Hallelujah. You didn't listen and go with the, the more that were going that way. The Bible teaches us the downward road. It crowded. Hallelujah. Look like everybody want to go to the bigger and the mega church. Uh -huh. Everybody want to go to the big and padded pews. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to get under the really beautiful chandelier. Everybody seem to like they want to go to the best air conditioned place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. God told me so you go way over there and they're trying to talk you out of that. You sweat in the church. Sometimes they want to talk you out of that. So don't let nobody you know, it used to be an old song that don't let nobody turn you around. Amen. Hallelujah. No, I'm, I'm leaving that with you today. Don't let nobody turn you around. Amen. You got to keep on yes. to get a lead. Amen. My God, today. Amen. You got to be expecting Hallelujah. something from God. Yeah. You ain't going to get nothing if you ain't expecting that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I come in here to get something from God. My God, if there ain't but five or six people here, I come here to get something from God. We come in here on Saturday morning. Sometimes the biggest number ain't no more than four and five, but I get something from God. Yes. Hallelujah. I don't come well here on 30 miles and go back home. Ain't got nothing. All right. I'm open. Yes. I said I'm open. For something from God. If you open for, from, for something from God, God will fill you up. Well, I'm glory, God. I got to get on now. I said I had a lot of scripture. I don't know I'm going to finish them all or not. But I'm trying to get to some of them. Thank you, Jesus. My God, today. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. My God, let's go to the book of St. Mark's Gospel. Thank you, Jesus. I'm expecting something today. I'm expecting when I get home, my wife's jaws and the gums are going down. I'm expecting that. Glory to God. I said, I'm expecting that. Thank you, Jesus. St. Mark 2. Let me go ahead and read. Somebody get that for me and read it for me while I'm looking. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. St. Mark 2 and 1 through the fifth verse. Look here, this was Jesus now going into a different city here. Companion, companion. I, I can't pronounce it real good, but you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Glory to God. Come on, read. The people heard that he had come home. Mm -hmm. So many gathered that there was no room left. Look here now. It was so crowded in the church. Woo, glory. If it gets so crowded in the church, Folk ain't got time. I, I ain't going in there. There ain't no seats in there. Mm -hmm. You can't find no place to sit. Mm -hmm. I just might well have gone back home. Yeah. But these people, what came, they brought somebody, didn't they? Come on, read for me. Even outside the door was room. Uh huh. And he preached the word to them. Jesus preached the word. Look at here. Carried by four of them. Yeah. Since they could not get in to Jesus uh -huh. because of the crowd, uh -huh. they made an opening in 
Hold it right there. Mm. My God. They couldn't get to Jesus. And they said, well, we're going down here to the club. <laughs> we didn't mind we're going over here to the Golden Rail. We can't get to Jesus. The church is full. Right, right. I ain't nobody trying to squeeze in there with this man. He on a scratcher. Where well, we going to put him when we do get him in there? Let's go on home. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They, they, listen. They mind. They mind. Look like they drawn together here. And they were together. Enough of the old people. I'm on this side of you, on that side, too, behind me. They mind was together. We came this far. And we ain't going to turn around. Right. And we ain't going to the McDonald's down the street. Mm. Or wherever they went in those days. They came for a purpose. Yes. You didn't just come up in here this morning just to look at me. You didn't just didn't come up in here just because it's Sunday morning and we go to church on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. You come here expecting Hallelujah. something from God. Yeah. If you did, shame on you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 They didn't let people inside of the house turn them around. Mm -hmm. They didn't let them off to do the crowd turn them around. Imagine one of them look up at the roof. Hey, we can get him in there like this. Let's tie the roof off. <laughs> huh? We ain't going to give up. We ain't going to give up. Just let take the top off. And we'll get him inside. Why? Because we want him here. We want him here. He's a friend of mine. Huh? Yeah. A friend of mine. In a condition. And we ain't going to take him back home. Well, We expect that we can get him to Jesus. That's all you need. Is to be in expectation of receiving something from God. In all of the good. Just because you paid big money in tithes. Or didn't have no money at all. To put in tithes. That's a good portion. Part of it, getting in there. But your mind. Need to be drawn in. On the man. Jesus. Yes. Jesus know what you got at home. Yeah. He know what you got in First National Bank. He know if you got anything in your pocket. Yeah. Come on, but he wants to know what's in your mind. Right. Yeah. Is you expecting me to do something yeah. about your problem? Hey. Is you expecting yeah. me to do something about your situation? Yeah. 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 Then you can hey. come to me. Because yeah. he said, come unto me, yeah. all ye that labor. And a heavy lady. Yes. Now I'll give you rest. Yes. He didn't tell you to go to McDonald's. No. Or the barbecue place. Uh. Ain't getting no help. Well. So come unto me. Yes. And, but we got to have our mind yes. full and my mind made up. Yes. That if I can get to yes. Jesus, yes. all my problems will be solved. Yes. My situation will be better. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever I need, he yeah. got it. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Let me tell you another testimony here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We were in him. And when I was working years ago, we wanted to get a 
bigger house. And we want a house built. I said, I want a house built from scratch. Yeah. And me and my wife got together. We got this blueprint and we read it and we looked at it and we looked and we was in way out there on Cheyenne, our 2700 North Cheyenne, where we were living. And that was our house down. We had bought that house. But we wanted to pick a house. And we said, well, we will get, we have this house big. We went up in Gilcrease here. I'm going to look at the fancy house. Some folk were talking to me. Ah, how you going to live in Gilcrease here and the job you got? I said, how you going to live in Gilcrease here with the job you got? <laughs> well, they didn't know I had Jesus. All right, all right, all right, all right. I said, they didn't know I had Jesus. Yeah. Right. Oh, glory. Right. Run away here. Right. You, Lord, yeah. see, folk will talk you out of when you're trying to move up. Yeah. I don't care what you're trying to do. If you're trying to elevate yourself, folk will try to talk you out of doing But we went on in, put the application in for the loan, and had to build it. Blueprint and everything, he ready to start building as soon as the loan be approved. And my application came back so bad. Hey! I said I can have a runaway here. My application, Brother Dan, come back so bad. And the, the, the people, the people came and said, oh, you can't get this loan. So what's wrong? The man, you ain't paid your bills in six months. Oh, they had me down for people I ain't even know about. Mm. And I said, I'm going to fight this. Wow. I don't owe these people. Our bills is up to par. I'm going to fight it even if we don't get the loan. That's it. So the people that I was trying to borrow yeah. from told me to go to the Better Business Bureau. Yeah, and I went down there. I was raggedy and nasty. I didn't care how I looked in the first place. I didn't. Went in there anyhow. Because I'm mad now. And they, I told them who I was and what I came here for. Didn't beat around the bush and, and talk of a whole lot of stuff. I went to the, straight to the point. I said, then why? Uh, my application so bad to be approved of a loan, and our bills was up to pop. And they went and got a book. And they, they had me out. I had to bag up. They, said, yeah, they got the right name. They got the right address. And, and, and but they don't have the right thing down here. I said, I old said you said that. I just took a pen and went down the line and. Uh, Mark, I said, I owe these people. I owe them people. And they up to pop. But these people here, I don't know nothing about. Mm -hmm. I, I said, I'm going to fight this if I don't get no loan anyhow. Mm -hmm. I said, I ain't going to go down like that. <laughs> Hallelujah. I right. could have went down with a bad record. Right. And I'm not going out like that. That's right. If they don't give me the loan, I'm going to be clear anyway. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And when they got to checking, they, I was there about three hours, sitting out in wow. the, the inner warrior. I would oh. get like sister sitting out there, sister Diane. I went in there with them on the phone. Right. And when they got to calling different folk, they said, come on in, Mr. Brown. Mm. I went on in. And I sat down. <laughs> and I said, what is the deal here now? I said, what's wrong with my credit application? Mm -hmm. said, we don't find nothing wrong. They said, somebody used your name mm -hmm. and got all this stuff and ain't paying for it. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you, you, you're one of a, out of a hundred that came down here to get the record straight. Yeah. I said, I just want to get the record straight, yeah. even if they don't give me the loan. Now, she said, we done already called the people. Mm. And said, they said, 
You approve now. All right. We got it straight, Mr. Brown. All, right. all you got to do is just go on back home and tell your wife it's all straight now. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Hallelujah. Yeah. But see, I went down there yeah. expecting yeah. something to happen. Yeah. I didn't say I, I didn't, didn't want to go down there and let them talk me out of what I come in here for. You going to give me some information. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know what's wrong here. Right. I was in expecting something to happen, even from them, yes, brother Bob, to tell me something. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Let's move on here now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. What a man. Hallelujah. They made an opening in the roof above Jesus. Yes. Now with me. When Jesus saw their faith, mm -hmm. when Jesus saw their expectation, mm -hmm. when Jesus looked on the people that were carrying the man, yeah. that had enough faith in Jesus to bleed uh -huh. for their friend, uh -huh. he done something about the situation. Right. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Get this man up here, take it on out of here. Yeah. Oh, I ain't got time for him. Get him on out of here. He ain't no Jew. Get him on out of here. No, not Jesus. See, we've been in the Old Testament teaching us that. And that tells you a whole lot about holiness. Yeah. What people don't talk about today. Mm -hmm. Holiness. They think that's a dirty word. Mm -hmm. But holiness started back then. Mm -hmm. You got to be walking, walking carefully. Mm -hmm. Look right. Speaking the truth. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's tied way back then. Yeah. Mm. Be read back then how they walked Woo. when they didn't talk right. Something happened. It looked like we ought to have sense enough to look. Mm. 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 Well, I'm looking at my Bible. Ooh, if this happened to the man that cursed God and he that fucking dead. Mm, and this what happened to Mary, and she just talked about her brother. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, and this what happened to the Israelite, and they didn't want to listen to the leader. Mm. Look like our eyes will be changed. Look like our heart will be fixed. Oh, my God. Our mind will be made up. Preach the word. Amen. The Father of God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Whomever leading you, mm -hmm. if they're walking, my wife used the word fluid put it a lot of times and box ankle. Box, box ankle. <laughs> <laughs> she used those words <laughs> a lot. But if the leader walking, fluid put it in box ankle, you pray for him. Don't put your mouth on him. Huh? You pray for the leader. And then if it don't straighten up, you just get on up and get on down the road. All right. Amen. Don't Amen. keep following the leader. And you got to go home every Sunday morning and talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. That's right. You need to just bend your knees and push your plate back Woo. and talk to Glory. God about Glory. it. Glory. And let God fix it because your lip sure ain't going to fix it. All right. <laughs> going to get you in a heap of trouble. Come on, man. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And they did what? When Jesus saw their faith. When Jesus saw their faith. Mm -hmm. He said. He said. To the paralytic. Mm -hmm. Son. Son. Your sins are forgiven. Yeah. Now. So, so he must have done something. See a lot of times mm -hmm. when we're going through uh, problems and things. Sometimes we've been brought in upon yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we don't yeah. walk contrary to the yeah. word of God. Uh -huh. yeah. And done brought something into this house we didn't want. Right. Mm. Right. We didn't want it to come in. Right. You know, when I was with, with the UPS company, I wasn't there for about one month, but they taught us 
at that time, if they don't sign for it, you bring it on bring back. It back. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, glory to God. Some of y'all are getting that next week. If you don't sign for it, bring it home. Ooh, somebody get that out the way. God. The devil is busy. Somebody said he's just like a choo-choo boy on a choo-choo train. He running up and down. He trying to sell peanuts and popcorn. If you don't buy no popcorn, he come back with something else. Mm. If you don't buy it, he come back with something else. As long as you don't buy it, he can't get you. UPS told us if they don't sign for it, put it back on your truck. And now they throwing it over the fence. Anybody get rid of it. Am I telling the truth, sir? They're throwing it over the fence, leaving it in the boot, the right driveway, on the push, anywhere they can get rid of it. We live in the country. And people leave boxes of stuff there on my push. And I look at it, this ain't for us. Out of the goodness in that. Because yeah. I know Jesus. Yeah. I didn't put it in my car. Sometimes drive it downtown to the UPS and throw it up there on the counter and say, this ain't for me. Amen. This not uh, this is not, uh, not even the address. And they look at me, this is funny. And I know what they're thinking. Uh -huh. Why didn't he keep it? Uh -huh. <laughs> because I didn't audience. I don't care what the devil brings. If I didn't order it, it ain't mine. Yeah. I wasn't expecting it. So you got the wrong address. Thank you. And we could tell the devil you got the wrong address when he knock on your door. Tell the devil, you get out of here. I didn't order that up. It ain't mine. When you come up here, for healing in your body. Mm -hmm. Be expecting it mm -hmm. to happen. Yeah. Sometimes when we don't get it right away, we're going on and forget about it. Oh, it ain't going to happen. It didn't happen right then. No, no time. Put no limit on God. Don't set no time on God. Just believe you receive. Yes. May not happen today nor tomorrow. May not even happen next week, but still yet confess that I received yeah. my need met because I took it to Jesus. Yeah. And I'm expecting him to yeah. do something about it. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I got another couple more, but I want to just go to one. I'm going to let you go. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's go to the book of St. Mark, the 10th chapter. I'm going to read a few verses in that chapter, and we're going to close. I have some more here, but I think you begin to understand what I'm trying to tell you. Amen. We have to be in expectation. Yeah. We just can't go to Jesus and prayer, a long prayer, a short prayer, and don't expect to get nothing from you. Yeah, that's right. Now, if you ain't expecting nothing, ain't nothing going to happen for you. Yeah. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Uh, my wife was expecting something to uh, happen when I was fitting to get laid off. And she said, hey, that ain't going to happen to you. I said, what do you mean that ain't going to happen to me? I said, I don't seen about 800 people gone out that door. And I said, if that ain't going to happen to me, you show me the reason it ain't going to happen to me. This was years ago when the company was really big and had a whole lot of folks. It had about 1,500 on the clock. I said, 1,500 on the clock? 
about three or four hundred in the personnel office. And they were going right and left. And they were going by the look like look like they were calling a roll, seemed like. And then they got down to the bees, seemed like. And the Bryant family figure, go now. Look like and then got down to the bees. And the Bryant family were figuring, go now. And then I went to my wife that night and said, well, I'm finna get the ask tomorrow. As long as you ain't gonna get no ask, what you mean to ask? I said, they finna let me go. Out of 17 and a half years, I had put in there. I said, I'm finna go now. How come you think you finna go? I said, I done seen some go with more time in than I have. But they were going by classifications also. And if I went in that classification, they couldn't get me nowhere. They had to get down to my classification. Yeah. And they done got down to my classification now. Uh -huh. Letting them go. She said, well, come on in here to my prayer chamber. And her prayer chamber. And when we stayed up there, this was in Gilchrist here. We had a, uh, in the master's bedroom, we had a little, like a little nook there. You know that little nook there for the, for the um, faithful and the, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh -huh. to wash your hand, all that kind of stuff. It was big. You could walk up in there. If it was door behind you, you could close it. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't no door there. So come on in my prayer chamber. That's what she did most of her praying. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you want me in your prayer chamber? Yeah, come on in here. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> See, when we stayed up there, I didn't use Master bathroom, unless I had to, it would not come to that, because I went to the other bathroom. Uh -huh. I just keep all my stuff up there, I ain't going to put it up here, because this is your prayer chamber, and I just stay away from there. <laughs> but anyhow, she pulled me into the prayer chamber, and prayed over me, and she prayed about a 30 minute prayer, mm. And I received a whole lot of it, and a whole lot of it I did. Uh huh. Cause she wasn't just talking; she wasn't just praying. She was talking to yeah. God. How are you? Well, you could hear it if you come to the front door. You could hear. Mm. It was really serious. Mm -hmm. Just like like Moses, deceit. That don't mean he was silent. Mm -hmm. Deceit don't mean that I'm silent. Mm -hmm. No, you crying out. Yeah. That's the way she was. Uh -huh. Crying out to God. For my job. Yeah. And she said, do you believe it? And I just said, yeah, I believe it. Mm -hmm. And I know, and, and, and I told her later on, I didn't believe it. Oh, all of it, what she said. I didn't wait. I waited till I got home, brother. <laughs> 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 hey! <laughs> Go to the car. I'm wanting to keep peace. <laughs> you got to have some sense enough to know how to keep peace in your home. I'm trying to teach you how to keep peace. Shut your mouth sometimes. Bless your mouth sometimes. That like that picture I told you, Lord and Lord. Well, hush my mouth. Hush my mouth. Hush my mouth. Went on to work the next day. And after walking, I tell you, y'all have heard this. We had a big company, and about a two-block walk, I had to go to the personnel manager. Mm -hmm. My immediate supervisor, he was walking with me, and he was talking with me. Because I was a good worker. I had a good attendance record. Uh -huh, that's it. And I wasn't always Ari, I wasn't in nobody. Yeah. Thing. I, I kind of kept to myself because I read my Bible. All right. I stayed in the Word of God yeah. every chance. I didn't walk around with my Bible under my arm now. Mm -hmm. I kept my Bible at my station, mm -hmm. on my desk. Mm -hmm. I read it every opportunity I got. Mm -hmm. And he knew I was a different person. Yeah. And he just he said, I sure hate to see you go. Because she's a good one. Yeah. Got a good record, attendance, good attendance record. Mm -hmm. And I sure hate to see this happen to you. Mm -hmm. I said, well, don't worry about it. I said, the Lord will take care of me. 
Now that was my wife was talking to me, coming to me now. Uh-huh. It's coming to me down in my spirit. A lot of times we get the word of God in us. It'll come down in your spirit when you need a word. That's why you need to read your word. More than just on Sunday morning. So the word began to come down in my spirit. Well, I... Uh, it just took away all anxiety, yeah. all yeah. that what, what you're going to do, yeah. Yeah. all that what the devil was saying. Yeah. I don't know how you're going to make it been here too long. <laughs> but anyhow, uh-huh. I began to receive that. I said, Lord, I thank you. Yeah. I began to walk my immediate, the supervisor, and thank you. I said, oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And he was taller than me. He looked down. What did you say? I said, I'm there praising God. And he didn't understand that. Uh-huh. He is the man he's been to get the act, and he's praising God. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I'm just praising God. I'm just thanking him. I said, Lord, I thank you for the 17 and a half years that I've been on this job. I thank you. And I wasn't silent. I wasn't. I prayed for somebody to hear me. I wasn't. I said, Lord, I thank you for these 17 and a half years you kept me here on this job. I thank you for it. He looked at I said, I'm just praising God. He kept on going. He kept on talking. I kept on thinking of what my wife done prayed over. It come down in my spirit. Oh, Lord, I thank you. You didn't let us have to want for anything. I thank you. You kept food on our table. I thank you for my automobile kept full of gasoline. I thank you for even allowing us to have a little bank account. I thank you. He didn't understand that. So we got on in the office. Set me down. Personnel man. Yeah. Me to the supervisor here. Yeah. I'm in the middle. The nurse in the front. Sit down. And they begin to bring a side of stories up. Oh, Woo, it's so hey, you see, you go. You're a good one. You did this. You did that. You say to come to so much. I, I just want to say, hey, you're going to say, if I say to come to so much, God, Devil put that in my spirit. How come you don't jump up and say, if I say the company so much money, why are you running me on out of here? <laughs> no, but I kept my tongue. I kept my tongue. Me and the supervisor rolled the paper over. The print out. Had everybody's name on that was getting laid off and those that wasn't getting laid off. Jack, you can't do it. And I wasn't watching what he was talking about myself. Jack, you can't do it, Kent. What are you talking about myself? What are you talking about? I'm wanting to bring it on out so I can know what he's talking about. First thing I'm asking, what do you mean I can't do it? Like he's saying that in a way of, I got authority to do anything I want. That's the attitude sound like. What do you mean I can't do it? He said, if you do, you got to get two more behind him. Come on. Come on. Come on. He looked down at, at me and looked over at me and the supervisor and said, go on back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Hallelujah. when you, my wife was expecting that. I said, I was, she was the one, she prayed and she was expecting that. Uh-huh. Prayer. Just like the men that taken their friend to Jesus uh-huh. was expecting if they could get him to Jesus, uh-huh. he would go away here. Uh-huh. And the door looked like was people everywhere, closed and can't get him in there, no kind of, they went up on top. Uh-huh. Let the roof uh-huh. let him down in the middle of there where Jesus was preaching. Glory! Yes. If you want something from God, get in the presence of God and stay there and expect God to give it to you. Yes. You ain't going to get it 
in the presence of God sitting up there with a MacDonald in your hand? Huh? A lot of time. See, no, not me. I don't know how you you can do it, but me. We I come up in the church, Pentecostal. They believe that if you fast and some and put some clay out and believe that God will come in and work on you, not the people, work on you. See, a lot of times people fast so that I'm on. Get that person delivered. You need to get yourself delivered first. Yes. 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 Work on yourself. Yes. Get yourself emptied yes. out. Yes. So God can fill that place up in you. That's why I smoked so long. I was trying to fill an empty space that was inside of me. I craved for cigarette. If I could just get a cigarette, my day would go easy. If I'm talking to any smokers in here, if you could get to a cigarette, look like it made your day so plain and easy. But I found out when I get a problem. I take it to Jesus. I get a prayer. I take it to Jesus. Jesus can fix it. Why? Because I go in expectation. Drop it in his feet. Hoping he'll see it tomorrow. If he ain't too busy, he'll hear me. I believe if you take any kind of problem to him, he got time to hear you. He ain't going to tell you to wait till tomorrow and come back. He got time for you today. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. See, when we first come in here, this was a strange ministry. Yeah. I said, when we first came into this ministry, it was strange to us. Mm -hmm. We weren't used to this kind of carrying on. We came into this ministry. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> And they took time to pray for somebody, even if Sunday school was in its peak. Stop it. My God. Somebody need prayer. Yeah. I was used to that kind of carrying on. I believe I was talking. Hey, sit down and be quiet. We'll pray for you at the Y. And coming into a minute, they got time for that. I got delivered. When I was walking in the door, fit to go to the class, mother said, grab me, bam! <laughs> I'm the teacher. <laughs> I'm just fit to go to the class. <laughs> if she was alive, she could tell you, and I know y'all heard her say that, even the teacher, we had to wait till the teacher come out from under the spirit of God. Oh, he's the teacher. <laughs> Anybody ever heard her before she went on? She was talking about me. <laughs> she laid hands on me. I'm finna go to the class. And bam, on the floor I went. I don't know how long I stayed there. But they had to wait on me. <laughs> Strange, sir. Strange. Never seen that kind of action before. Taking time out to do something like that. And I'm used to sitting up there two hours and a half and you better shut up. Because we going on out of here if you don't. Hallelujah. Got in the church nine to three and ain't nobody leaving. What's going on? What's the matter here? I ain't used to this. I said I wasn't used to this. I got to go home. I got to eat. My stomach is talking to me. Must still preach. Well, we still have in Sunday school. Hallelujah. Because she was expecting a change. 
That's why she did it and went that way. Mother didn't just preach on love one Sunday and wait and get something else next Sunday and something else next. She kept it to she got folk to live it. Yeah. Kept it that that serve I mean that 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 sermon going to folk receive what she was talking about. Cause you're looking at one. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I told her I had it down pat. Mm -hmm. I love everybody. <laughs> oh, I love, I love. Four letter word, I love. Mm. But it wasn't all the way in wow. here. It was up here, but it wasn't in here like it's supposed to be. Mm. Mm. I would go on sermon every Sunday, love, love, love. Mm. Ooh, Lord, I we should give her something else to preach. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> and she went, went, went. And it looked like I was the last one to receive all of what she was saying. And then the next time, moved on to something else. <laughs> Hallelujah. God will wait for you Amen. to get hold to what he's talking about. Yeah. He ain't going to just throw something down. He wants you to get it. Yeah. He wants you to get it. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible said he was a non perish That means he none. I don't want you lost. Yeah. So you hear it and get it. Receive it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Where did I say we were going? Mark 10 chapter. Okay, come on with Mark 10, 10 chapter. 46. Let's go way up there. And y'all know this man. Now, everybody heard of him. Then he came to Jericho. Uh huh. As Jesus and his disciples together with a large crowd were leaving the city, a blind man, Bartimaeus, that is the son of Timaeus, uh -huh. came by the roadside begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Yes. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Yes. Now hold it right there. When you go to cutting up in the church, and I ain't talking about acting foolish, I'm talking about let the spirit have his way. When you read it sincere, get sincere. You ain't looking at Brother Bobby over here and see how he looks. You, you, you ain't looking at him. And you ain't gonna let his look. Sometimes we can people, you can understand, look like the eyes talk. Mm -hmm. Eyes tell you to shut up. Mm -hmm. And you shut up. Eyes do a lot of things and you go to reading for the eyes and you be quiet. Mm -hmm. People, even in Bonamel's time, begin to shout to him, shut up, man. Hush. He ain't got time for you. You're a blind man. Hush your mouth and be quiet. But he got louder. He didn't let them churches hurt him up. Why? Because he wanted to receive something from Jesus. He heard about what Jesus was doing. Going about healing all that was sick. Giving a sight to the blind. The lame walking. Now here it is that Jesus is passing by my way. I'm not going to let these people stop me. I'm not going to let these folks shush me up. I'm going to get his attention any kind of way I can. He shouted. And I don't believe that was a quiet shout. There wasn't no shout. Jesus, Jesus, please, Jesus. I'll tell you, like my mom used to cry, ah, Jesus! <laughs> I don't know why she used that word, oh, oh, Jesus, but that's the way she used, ah, oh, Jesus! Just like he was facing across in the state 44 out here to get Jesus' attention. Yeah. When you're serious with yeah. what you oh, want God. from God, Hallelujah. you're not ashamed. Paul said, I'm not ashamed. Yeah. You can't 
get nothing by being ashamed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I believe my wife got afraid for her son there. That her hush mouth don't get fed. Mm. Huh? I, 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 that's what she got from my youngest son. Mm. If you don't tell for what you need or what you want, you ain't gonna get it. And if right. we don't be like that with the people, you know, we can't be silent asking God. Mm -hmm. Some go as far as that. I know He know all about it. I know Jesus see all about it. He know He gonna do it in His time. Mm -hmm. He ain't got a time set. But he said, Jesus now, you have not because you ask not. So that means your mouth can't be closed expecting Jesus to come to your knees, to apply your knees. I want you to ask him. And when you ask him, expect to see something. May God bless your hearts. Hallelujah. Hope you got something out of this. I want to do this for you. I want to do it. Holy Ghost said, quit. Next time I bring more, it'll be a lot of me. Now the altar is open. Hallelujah. Brother. Well, Brian, will you give us a song, please? We got a singer in the house. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank God for him. Amen. Coming by. Bring him. I know he got a song. Well, a fit is Glory to God. Now, if it's anybody that's in the house, need something from Jesus. If you come up here, expect it to happen for you. Now don't go away from here saying didn't let them happen because I didn't receive nothing. Sometimes he works instantly. Sometimes he let you go away. A lot of times when Jesus did something, the people went away and was healed. They were healed all right now. They went away and was healed as they went. But don't let the enemy come and tell you you didn't get that. If you expecting something, something will happen for you. Hallelujah. Jesus, you're so good. 